A lot has been made recently of players on Live Golf being unable to earn official World Golf Ranking Auger points. Most fans and professional golfers agree that the Auger is out of whack. John Ram is currently ranked fifth. Brooks, Koepka, and Cam Smith are the only other players on Live ranked inside the top 80, with Koepka 36th and Smith 55th. Anyone that knows anything professional golf understands that Koepka, Smith, Dustin Johnson, Bryson, Deschambeau, Joaquin Neiman, and likely others are far better than their ranking. But with the Algers' decision to deny points to live, players have plummeted. That, in turn, will lead to many potential deserving players not qualifying for major championships. Taylor Gooch is one of them. Gooch has been very vocal about his distaste for the status quo even though he also admitted he was not even attempting to qualify for the U.S. Open. The X account, flushing it, posted Sunday the hypocrisy of the Volvo China Open awarding Auger points while Liv is left in the dark. Never has there been a more obvious example of the immediate issue Liv faces than today. The Volvo China Open was played for a $2.25 million purse and several players qualified for the PGA Championship at Valhalla. Live Golf Singapore played for a purse more than 10 times that amount, with a bunch of the best players of this generation. But zero of them qualified for the PGA Championship from the event, flushing it wrote, Phil Mickelson, one of the staunchest and loudest proponents of Live Golf, then replied, What if none of the Live players played? Would they be missed? What about next year, or the year after? At some point, they will care and will have to answer to sponsors and television. Fafo, Mickelson responded. The Fafo, of course, stands for F around and find out. Rumors surface that some live players contemplating jumping ship if the Auger problem does not get resolved. At the end of the day, most golfers' goals are to win majors. You cannot win them if you cannot play in them. The Auger does not seem to have any inkling toward budging on this issue, nor has there been any reported movement toward a deal between the PGA Tour and the Saudi Public Investment Fund, Liv's beneficiaries. So, Mickelson might just get his wish. We will all find out. Kendall Caps is the senior editor of Somebody Nations Playing Through. For more golf coverage, follow us at Playing Through on all major social media platforms.